As much as I love getting updates on the Claudia Tenney race, this will be our last one that we're going to get an update because Claudia Tenney, the candidate, is now going to be Claudia Tenney, the congresswoman again. Landslide Tenney by 109 <laughs> votes has now officially won New York's 22nd congressional race. Joining us now for her first national interview since affirming that win just a few moments ago, Claudia Tenney, welcome to the show. Thank you. And thank you so much for your kind words. I don't know if it's going to be the last time you hear from this, but the judge in the case did say that every legal vote has been counted in NY22 this year. And after 94 days, I sure hope so. Uh, my opponent uh, is probably going to appeal this, but uh, I think in spite of the appeal, I think we're, we're going to prevail because we literally did an exhaustive uh, nine, 90 days of counting every vote. I mean, there really isn't a legal vote left to count. So I just got to ask this, like, you've done this before. You won the seat before, then you lost it, then you won again, and you've been going through this, as you mentioned, for 94 days. When you got this call or this ruling, I mean, what, what was your, did you just go, you got to be kidding me, it's actually, this is it. Uh, well, yeah, I was, I kind of had a feeling that the judge had a ruling, uh, the judge had to open the court this morning, I heard motions on the final ruling and he issued the decision, he uploaded it this evening. And so, uh, I kind of could tell where he was going just based on, uh, you know, the oral argument, but, uh, we're excited, uh, we're grateful to be able to have the privilege of serving in the house again and, uh, looking forward to hearing, uh, working with my colleagues. Believe it or not, I've heard from some of my colleagues on the democratic side back when I served in the 115th Congress. So uh, I'm really excited to get down there and, and get to work and pr try to bring us together enough that we can preserve freedom and protect this country. Uh, I think they could use, uh, you know, uh, a mature woman like me. You know, yesterday was my birthday. I was hoping the decision would be yesterday. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've reached another milestone there. But I'm uh, really excited about getting back and trying to really do uh, a lot of important work to save this country and to really put us on a good path for the future. And and uh, my son and uh, my grandchildren, hopefully, they will have someday. Oh, well, happy belated birthday. This is a great birthday yeah. gift. Uh, you did mention your opponent, Anthony Brindesi. Um, has he conceded this at all? You said he might be challenging. Oh, no. He said he's shocked by the decision and that <laughs> we need to go back and do a hand count. And I think he's going to be relying on Nancy Pelosi uh, trying to overturn this race through the House administration, as we've kind of cautioned in the past. Uh, I don't know where they're going to unturn votes. The judge was very clear in stating that every legal vote is counted and it's just not going to be a, a valid uh, attempt to try to make illegal votes count. And I think that's where he's going to go. But he's got Perkins Coey, the famous uh, creators of the uh, Steele dossier, out there on his team, and they're going to continue to fight this. But we're hoping that, you know, the certification will be forthwith by the uh, county. I, I've heard has already uh, done it and uh, the state hopefully next week, and that will move on to, to being seated in the House as early as next week. Yeah, so you need that certificate of election, right? Yeah, well, uh, the last county, all this, there are eight counties, seven certified, the eighth county certified today. Uh, it's all gone to the state board. Uh, we're hoping to get a very quick uh, certification from the New York State Board of Elections. Once that happens, uh, we can be seated, and uh, we're just not sure what Nancy will do with House administration. I don't want to go the route of uh, Representative Marionette Miller Meeks. And uh, I think I just think it's in politic for Nancy to try to do this at this point. I think the speaker is really out of, you know, just this is not what, you know, they claim they want democracy. And let me just say one thing about Anthony Brindisi right now. Part of his appeal is that he had errors in Dominion voting machines. So he's claiming he actually got Dominioned. And so yeah. that'll be an interesting claim. Be, that, yeah, how that'll uh, go over with her. Now going to make after all of, of we Republicans have been accused of being conspiracy theorists and white supremacists and bigots because we want to challenge, you know, elections. But to be honest with you, I have never once said that there was fraud in the election right. that I'm in. I have always complained. Well, now that she's on the other problem. foot. Right. This is a problem well, for me. Claudia, I, I want to wish you a very happy birthday and congratulations again. Uh, thank you for being with us. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.